<laughs> I've got some goo on my fingers. <laughs> okay, doctor. All right, well, today we are at Goodwill. I know a lot of you have been missing the Goodwill video, so here we are. We are sitting outside the Goodwill of Lemoy, and we're about to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. The store is not acknowledging me. Are they closed? Is today not a Goodwill day? Wait, you got it to open. I've, I'm like, maybe I'm invisible. The door wasn't opening for me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I better get in quick. Thank you. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, this is fun. Um, this is part of an old sewing uh, machine. Desk, I don't know how it opens. <laughs> Here's what open. I don't know, am I doing something wrong? Open the sesame. I don't know, it's in pretty rough shape. I can't even get it open. Moonshine dust. I guess moonshine dust doesn't have a smell. Let's go this way. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully we find some goodies today. It's been about a week since I was here last. I feel like that's lots of time to restock. Here are the figurines. This is kind of neat. I think this is a hobbyist uh, piece with a really fun glaze. There's a little chip on there though. Helen made this. I feel like Helen did a pretty nice job. There's a decapitated rabbit back there. Um, not seeing much on the end cap, so let's go this way. It's a cute fox <laughs> made of resin, very lightweight. I like this picture. Uh, $4.99. I like that the design that extends to the bottom of it. I don't see anything wrong with it. River made that in 1993. This may also be a hobbyist piece. $4.99. I don't know. I'm tempted to throw it in my cart just because I like how busy the floral pattern is, but look, there's even a flower on the inside. Small chip on the handle. We'll grab it for now. We'll see if it makes the cut in the end. Oh wow, look at these figures in the back. Aren't they pretty? What are they? Those are really neat. I love the detail in their faces. There's three of them. $2.99 each. Let's see. Very pretty. This one has less detail. I think they're all the same though. And then this one has even less detail. That's so wild. I wonder if there's like a significance. I like them though. That has a neat glaze. I like the green. Let's see the stilt marks on the bottom. This is a planter. Uh, what is the price on that? $2.99. Gosh, I don't know. Planters for me this past year have just not done the best. So I think I'm going to pass on that. I'm not really seeing much else here that's jumping out at me. This is cool though. I like the glaze. Sue. Sue made this. It's kind of fun, Sue. And then there's a doctor that's just holding his hand up like, look at my fingers. <laughs> I've got some goo on my fingers. <laughs> okay, doctor. She's a candle holder for $2.99. I guess she's all by herself. She's kind of neat. Primitive, folk art. Put her in there with the other ladies. All right, well, I'm going to skip on over to the vases, which are still on white shelves. I guess they didn't have enough black shelves. <laughs> they couldn't finish converting over. Oh, celery. Nice celery vase. Who makes this? Will... Well House? Something? A little chip there on the end. Oh, well. Nope, nope, nope. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. A little bit more than a little chip. There's a couple little chips on that. What is this? Makasa? $4.99. Alright, 
here we are in the vase section. You guys know I love the vase section. Figurines and vases. That's usually where <laughs> I live when I'm here at the Goodwill and I just bounce back and forth as they are restocking. Not really seeing anything here in vases today though. So let's uh, explore, check out some of the other aisles. What is this? Oh well, that's glass. And it's in one piece, which surprises me, $3.99. I don't know, I have to think about it. <laughs> Recently, I've been finding a lot of fragile pieces that are intact, and I feel this, like, this, like I have to buy them to save them so they don't get broken. But also, I don't know if I want that. Stone Harbor, that's just a fun shot glass. There's an apple. I sold a pear recently. I don't like the apple as much as I like the pear. Here are the cups. Those are fun, but they're really just painted. <laughs> Somebody gave their kid the paintbrush. They're like, here, have fun. <laughs> they match though, that's what matters. These are kind of neat. They have a nice uh, drape pattern on them. Probably some elegant um, glass. What do we have here? This is interesting. I thought at first it was fused, um, but also this was painted as well. I think um, it was probably not somebody's child though. <laughs> oh, look, there's even cups. That's a fun set. $3.99 on this. Um, marked or signed anywhere. Yes, 2003. So at least, oh, you know what? Mm, we might be in trouble here where the, since it is painted. Is it gonna pull off the paint? We'll get a little test here. It's not gonna pull off the paint, so I might grab this. So this set is $3.99. Stick that in there. That's a creamer, a sugar, and a little plate. And then behind it are two glass coffee cups. Or teacups. I guess you could put tea in there as well. It's just a fun set. So we'll pick that up. Look at all these shot glasses. <laughs> it makes me wish I knew a little something about shot glasses, but I know nothing of shot glasses. This was probably somebody's collection. Very fun collection. There is a pewter figurine for $4.99. This is the Hobo Band by Pam, no, Ron, <laughs> Ron Lee. I think he's pewter. He's heavy enough to be pewter. Maybe he's lead. Probably pewter. We're going to say pewter. Let's go this way. But first, beauty. Beauty Insider. What is this? This is kind of neat. I'm not really sure. It says Pharmacy 1600 Delta Blue. So I find these from time to time. Those little houses, um, the alcohol, the bowls. Is that what it says? Bowls? But this is different. This is uh, it's numbered 16. I don't know what this is. I guess it's just decorative. But um, it's $3.99. I'm going to grab that. That could be something. Might be. I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out later. We'll have to take a chance at $3.99. And then let's take a visit to the Christmas section because we are getting there slowly but surely. It's time to at least start looking. What is this? This is December Laura. Interesting. That was an original purchase price of $29.99. Look at that cute little Santa in there. It's like a little Santa bird. <laughs> a Santa bird in the wreath. We should probably look this one up. I don't know. If it was original purchase price of $29.99, that makes me curious. Somebody paid that. So I looked up December Laura. Oops, shoot, that's not gonna go. Oh, December Laura figuring search. I don't know why it's not focusing, but here's the results. Ooh la la. <laughs> $7.99. Is 
centaur man. No, that's a fairy man, and then uh, centauress lady. It's not what we're looking for. All right. Well, I'm still working on the December Laura thing, but check this out. Oh my goodness. Heck yeah, six ninety nine on him. That's one of those things. What's his name? <laughs> Get him confused with Jim Shore. Um, oh, uh, Tom Tom Clark. You see the Clark here, nineteen eighty three. And that's a big one. That's fantastic. Oh my goodness, that might be the find of the day right there. Just sticking it on top of that fragile lady. All right, I give up on this December Laura figurine. I tried eBay. I tried Worth Point. I can't find her. I don't know. You know what? Maybe I'll just... Why not? How much is she? Oh, you know what? She doesn't even have a price. They won't even sell her to me. <laughs> she can stay right here because there's no point in even taking her up. You can stay here. Um, <laughs> that was pointless. All right. Let's see. Uh, this is kind of neat. I don't do much with these guys, though. It's probably an ultra rare nutcracker M&M guy. And I'm going to leave him here for someone else because I don't know anything about this. Also, he's missing a hand. I just noticed he's missing a hand. Here is a little dish. I think this might be made in Turkey. I actually have a purple one that I use in my house. So here's a green one. I'm going to buy it for myself. And I'm probably going to use it. <laughs> The kids like it for dipping, and I like them because they're colorful. So, um, they're currently restocking. I think I saw two carts out here being pushed around, so we're going to mosey up and down the shelves a few more times and see if there's anything fresh. This is kind of neat. Bell ceramics. Probably made to look like Wedgwood. Oh my goodness. $9.99. And it could be yours. It's freaking me out that Humpty Dumpty has like cold dead eyes. <laughs> I was gonna say that looks like Avon, and it is Avon. This is very sweet. $4.99. Somebody had it priced $1 at their yard sale. 99 on the abalone shell. Um, I actually, I've sold a few of these in the past. Usually I can get about 18 to 24 bucks for these, which um, I thought was kind of crazy, but hey, I guess they can't harvest these anymore or something. Someone had mentioned in the comments, which I didn't realize. I'm gonna grab that. Let me see what else we have here. <laughs> That's kind of darling. Oh, look at this little shell creature. Maybe I should just start doing little shell giveaways. <laughs> the last uh, whatnot sale I had, I did a few shell giveaways. This is two ninety nine. <laughs> so cute. Those are just darling. That's wild. Oh my gosh! And boy, is it heavy. Is it supposed to have a lid? I don't know. Hmm. It's interesting. It has two birds on it. I'm very confused by it. I think I'm gonna grab it. $4.99. I don't know, it kind of has an interesting top. Like, I don't know if it's supposed to have a lid or not. I'm gonna stick it in here very gently. These baskets are always so fun. Chicken baskets, and they have both their eyes. So one is $4.99. And the other is three ninety nine. I've got both of those. Oh, I don't really see much else down this way. Since they're restocking, I figure, hey, let's go and check out the vase aisle. We love the vase aisle. I always like to look at things that are out of place on the shelf. So obviously, this is not a vase, and I'm like, what is it? Look, here's a book. This is not a vase land I have chosen. I feel like I looked at that last week though. Um, really not seeing much here in the base section. But let's head back over to figurines. Isn't this fun just bouncing back and forth? I kind of like the glaze on that. No markings on it. It does have a really pretty glaze. $3.99. Hmm. I really wish there was a marking. 
$3.99. I think I'm gonna leave it. I'm like, do I need another plate? Probably not. If I had a marking, I'd be a little bit more talented. It appears as though a few pieces were added to the end caps, and I was oblivious. Um, so this is for a flower arrangement and a candle at the same time. Uh, there's no, oh, there is a marking. It's pretty faint, but it's art pottery. A nice piece of speckled art pottery. I'm gonna slip that into here. And then there were two bells. Let's get a little closer. Two bells here. I like this one with the sun on it. I don't usually pick up bells, but I like that image. So I'm gonna grab that. And the other bell, $3.99. Oh, it also has a sun, look at that. Um, and there is a marking on that one. So this is $3.99, we'll grab both of those. Let's see if there's anything else that's new. <laughs> this was here earlier. Oh, that's, um. oh, this is McCovney. Oh, that's so fun. I even looked at this earlier and I was oblivious to it. I mean, I saw it and I'm like, oh, that's nice. Um, McCovney is fun. We've had a few pieces by McCovney. I had a Santa teapot at one point, And then I also had an Oki, what is it called? It was the whistle, a fun whistle. Um, and here is a shaker, a golf shaker. So I'll take this. This is a fun, fun um, pottery artist so we'll take that i wish there was another piece to it it looks like that's i mean it's a single shaker i wish there was another piece this is a candle snuffer with a ram's head on it i don't know if i really need or want that and a piece of pottery all right a bear Bear is cool, it's $3.99, but I don't really want the bear either. All right, is that it for me? I don't know. I'm gonna go look and see if I can find another shaker that goes with that. Because maybe they thought that was a figurine and they put the shaker with the shakers. Let's go check the shakers. So this is where the shakers live. We're gonna look through here and see if we can find the matchy match. Because that would be wonderful. <laughs> I mean, it's probably not likely, but it would be great. Oh, there's fun. <laughs> These things are fun. Look at that. Mushroom shakers, $2.99. It's worth coming over here just for those. Ha! Okay. <laughs> That's exciting. $2.99 on the deviled egg plate. And... We just so happen to have the shakers that go with it. Fantastic. All right, aren't you glad we came over here? We came over here looking for a shaker. It does not appear to be here, but the deviled egg plate is fine. What is wrong with her legs? <laughs> Something going on there. Seven piece cocktail set. This is high quality. Made in Japan. All right, well, here we are in the plastics. You guys know I don't come over here very often, but I spotted these, and I'm like, what are those? <laughs> and there's just something about them that I think is really cool. Look at this. It's a dragon drinking a beverage. And they're in pretty decent condition. There's not a bunch of scratching or wear. Let's make sure that if we take that tape off, nothing happens. Yeah, we're good. So I'm gonna grab these three mugs. Those are so fun and vintage. Those are delightful. <laughs> Don't really see anything else exciting here. There's lots of plastic. All right, well, our total spend here at the Goodwill today was $94. And I feel like we got a few winners. I'm very excited about that deviled egg plate, especially since we have the shakers. I usually don't pick them up because they're missing the shakers. <laughs> so the fact that I found the shakers and then the plate was very exciting. Um, yeah, I feel like that was an all around good trip to the Goodwill. Uh, almost a hundred bucks, but I'm gonna get out of here now. I've actually gotta head back towards the shop. I've got lots to prepare for this week. Um, I am having a Wednesday whatnot sale at 4 p.m. Eastern. I am having a Friday whatnot sale at 6 p.m. 
Eastern. It's the dog sale this week. And then uh, we're having a Sunday sale where we're, we will be selling treasures from Springfield. So um, lots happening, lots coming up. Um, and then as always, you know, our eBay auctions run Tuesday through Sunday. So we're gonna be moving a lot of stuff through the shop this week and I've gotta get over there and start preparing for that. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this and uh, I will see you a little bit tomorrow. So long.